Doctor, I want to ask, is there any way... Hey, doctor, I'm just wondering if... Doctor, I have a question. Doctor, I want to ask how doctor, to... Doctor, I want to know if... Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Al-Abdullah. We are here in Dr. Hassan Al-Abdullah Medical Center. I'm ready to answer all your questions related to health. See, here there is another question. What is the cause of dilated pores in the skin? Of course, we are talking about the skin of the face. Each pore in the skin, actually, how many pores do we have in the skin? We have pores for the sweating, for a sweat related to sweat gland, and we have pore for hair and sebum, oil. The hair and the sebum come from one, one place. But also there is pore for sebaceous gland, only without hair. And the dilated pores happen because the fat secreted by sebaceous gland and the dead cell accumulate together in the opening or in the pore of the sebaceous gland. And with the time, become bigger and bigger and bigger and become also harder and become black because of the melanin. So this is, we call it dilated pore or blackheads. If you leave it, it will become larger and harder. And after that, it will fail down by itself, but leave the pore dilated. So it is very important to clean the blackheads from the face. And this is, you know, the main things people do facial. And there is in addition to blackhead, there is what's called whitehead. The whitehead means the closed comedon. Blackhead is open comedon. White is white because closed and there is no melanin of it. What is the problem if we leave whitehead? It will be calcified, mean become stone, piece of stone under your skin. And the later on is very difficult to remove. So if you don't clean the blackhead, you will develop dilated pores. And if you don't remove the whitehead, you will develop stones under the skin. So if you have blackheads or whiteheads, it's better to be removed. Thank you.